I got into trades because I enjoy working with my hands. I'm not really a sitting behind a desk kind of person. I like to get out there and make something out of nothing. It's rewarding and it's, it's fun to do. I'm very proud to tell people what I do for a living. My name is Blake Chrome, and this is my true calling. This is C-SPAN's Vancouver Shipyards, and this is the team that Blake Chrome joins every day to build some of the country's most important ocean vessels. Each day starts in a familiar way, but each shift brings new challenges for this apprentice welder. First thing in the morning, we uh, get into a kind of a huddle. We go over safety issues anyone might have. And we do a bit of a warm-up, stretch, and get everyone ready for the day. Today I'm working on Hull 190, it's a research vessel. I'm going to be welding on the uh, stabilizer, so I'm going to get my stuff together and let's build some ships. My first introduction to welding was when I was 14 in Australia at my uh, dad's shop. He had me there helping him out with building sets for theatre companies. I noticed I had a real knack for the, the rhythm of welding and just getting the feel for it, you know, it kind of came a bit naturally to me. I did my C-level course through the University of the Fraser Valley, and then from there, I got an apprenticeship here at C-SPAN. It's about a four-year long apprenticeship, learning all the aspects of what it takes to build a ship, all the different types of welding. With a last name like Chrome, maybe welding was a destiny, but he still spent a lot of time and hard work to become an apprentice, with the support from organizations like the Industry Training Authority, Great to be out here on site, spending time with apprentices, you know, like Blake. He's a very, very impressive young man. He had an idea of what he wanted to do, but he wasn't quite sure where he wanted to do it. So uh, he excelled in school uh, with his technical training, and you know, here he is. He's a young man working in a field where there's incredible opportunity, in a beautiful location, and the lifestyle that comes along with the career. Hiking the West Coast Mountains of British Columbia is something that Blake and his wife Jessica love to do on their days off together. They aren't the kind of people who like to sit around and wait for things to happen. They're the kind of people who know what's important in life, and they live it. I think this career will give me the freedom to have time for the things I'm passionate about, you know? I can spend time with my wife, and you know, when we have kids, I'll have time for the family. I won't have to be constantly working. I really want to excel in welding because I know that there's room for uh, growth. There's uh, other avenues that can be opened up for you through this kind of trade. For kids that want to get into the trade, get in with a company and start even at the bottom, just sweeping floors in the beginning and then get moved up from there. Starting off with an apprenticeship is a really good way to go. Blake's time with his father gave him the practice and experience he needed to understand the basics of welding. But it's the on-the-job lessons from the Red Seal welders that teach him how to take his game to the next level. Usually as an apprentice, they'll have a journeyman working with you just to make sure that you're doing the job properly, make sure you got everything you need so that you're not feeling lost or overwhelmed with the, the task that you have. I'm leaving the edge, I just get a bump edge. Right, yeah, yeah. that be better. Instead of burning it, then you kind of create more undercut, right? Yeah. But I mean, you can bust that out. True. Ticketed tradespeople are in demand everywhere in the country. A Red Seal ticketed welder can work anywhere in Canada. Their trade is, is designated, and in many cases, anywhere in the world. The company I'm working for right now, C-SPAN, has uh, just started you know, new contracts, building things like icebreakers and research vessels. It's really interesting just to watch the whole process from start to finish, and just learning about shipbuilding in general is really, really fascinating to me. There are almost a million job openings predicted in BC by 2024, and eight out of 10 of those jobs will require post-secondary education or trades training. 
There's needs for welders, fitters, machinists, fabricators, electricians, painters, managers, supervisors, and in many cases, people start in the skilled trades and move into other positions like uh, shipyard management, project management, human resources, uh, engineering. It's a stepping stone for many people. When you're done a job and you look at it and it's done right and it looks good, it's rewarding because you know you had a hand in making sure that the quality of the work is there. One of the things I'm really looking forward to is seeing the, the ship actually christened, put into the water. They make a pretty big deal of it. Blake's commitment to precision and focus aren't reserved for his welding work. They're also keen instincts that he brings to the mat in his bid for a black belt in jiu-jitsu. We're going to Genesis Martial Arts out in Abbotsford and uh, I'm going to do some jiu-jitsu training. You know, the focus that you have to put into jiu-jitsu um, is the same kind of focus you have to put into welding. Drop the heel, pull through, sweep. Developing your own skill set and techniques. You've got the fundamentals down and then add your own spin onto it. Blake's good, he's been training for a while. You know, he's athletic, strong, flexible. He's got a good, good skill base for jiu-jitsu for sure. It's an art and welding I consider it an art as well. Welding is kind of like a signature. When you see someone's weld, you can kind of tell who welded it. You're able to perfect your technique. There's always lots to learn. You're always doing something different, and it's, it's just a good career to make a good living on, and there's always work for welders. Great to see apprentices like Blake just living his dream, doing what he wants to do. Blake isn't just building a career, he's building a life. My priority is just to enjoy what I do and enjoy my life. This kind of career will allow me to do that.